Hi, welcome to Android App Development. In our previous module, we learned about starting an activity from another activity. In this module, we will learn about action bar and adding an option menu to action bar. In Android 3.0 or API level 11 and above, action bar is included in all activities that uses theme.hollow or one of its descendants. Let's create a new project and name it action bar and option menu. As we are using hollow light and dark action bar theme, option menu will be automatically included in our activity. Let's keep everything as is and press next and next and use the blank activity and press next and finish. Now, our action bar and option menu project is created. Let's understand a little bit about action bar first. As you can see, our main activity is extending action bar activity, which means that we can override on create option menu and on option item selected method. To place the menu items into the action bar, we need to override on create option menu method and add our menu item to the menu object. To add menu item to menu object, we need to get the get menu inflator and inflate menu resource into the given menu object. When user presses one of the action button, the system calls your activities on option item selected callback method. In our implementation of on option item selected method, we will handle each action in a switch case. To add action button or menu item to main activities action bar, we need to go to resources menu main.xml. In main.xml, we will add two menu items search and exit. To add a menu item, minimum two attributes are required. First is ID and second is title. Let's add search item first. Type item and type ID. Enter. Select the plus ID and give the name of this ID as action underscore search. Now type title, press enter and give the title as search string. To make sure that we use string resources for any literal strings, click on the search and press alt enter. Now let's extract string resource, press enter and type the resource name here. Let's type action underscore search and this resource will be defined in our string.xml file in the value resource folder. Press ok and now you can see it's been defined. To end the item, just press the vac and it's already been closed. Now to add exit item, type item, press id select the plus id and type action underscore exit for title enter type exit and to extract this in our string resource press alt enter press enter and type the resource name as action underscore exit it will be defined in the string dot xml in the value resource press ok and to close this just press back and it is automatically being closed. Now you can see that by defining these two items, our items are created in our menu item list. You can see that now we have three menu items. First is search, second is exit and third is setting which was already present here. Now let's go to string.xml to see our string literals. Now you can see that our string literals are defined here to use string resources in our main.xml we use at the red string slash string resource name as you can see that action underscore exit is one of our resource name and action underscore search is one of our resource name now let's handle action bar menu item click action let's go to our main activity and go to on option item selected method as you can see that this method returns a boolean value so when we handle any action 
we will return true to inform a runtime that we have handled this action else we will let the system handle the action now let's create a switch case to handle action as you can see that we are extracting an item id using this get item id now create a switch and pass id here and define case for our search action and our exit action let's define a default case when we don't handle an action we let the system handle the action to return a value let's create one boolean we'll set this value true in cases where we are handling the action and in the default case we'll let the system handle the action in the default case say handle equal to this method and now remove this unnecessary code here and return our handle here so for search action what we will do is we will create a toast toast equal to toast with text the context will give the application context get application context the string we will say we are in search action is clicked and time will say toast and to show this toast we need to call a show method toast dot show in our exit action we will say finish we will call finish method what it will do is it will close our activity now let's do the overview of what we have done so far so first of all we have created uh, menu items here and then we have handled that uh, menu item click action here in our on option item selected method and then we have defined the string literals here and we have accessed them here now let's run this on emulator and see how it works now select this emulator and press ok now you can see that our app is launched here just click on our app and here is the option menu item just click on this and you can see that we have now three options search exit and setting let's click on the search and you can see that this toast is being displayed here that we have clicked the search action item and let's click on exit to see that or we get out of our application as you can see that our application is closed now we are done with this module in the next module we will learn about how to create a dynamic ui using fragments i hope you enjoyed this video Thanks a lot for watching and stay tuned for our next module.